Hello, welcome to Studio Pixel. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about the Array tool in 3ds Max. Now, Array is a very interesting tool which can help you to duplicate objects in a very special manner. So, let's see how we can use this in a scene. I have already created a foliage from the ACE extended primitive and I, I will gonna apply the array onto this. Now array we can find under the tool menu or else you can right click on the uh, empty area and click on the extras where you can get this array. So either, either way we can actually you know. Uh, we can actually get the array so da, 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 okay fine so go to tools and say array now is, if you haven't selected anything you will get this message the create array selection set is empty so array only can act upon a selection so select your object go to tools and say array but you won't see any significant happened on your on your scene because uh, I haven't uh, the, the default value doesn't uh, makes too much of differences uh, okay now first I will tell you what are these options uh, different segments that array has and then you will see how we can utilize them so first of all is the the portion which is the top portion is array transformation array transformation is divided into incremental or total that means I can I can tell a particular value uh, in which the objects will be distributed or I can uh, use it as an incremental value type of objects that I I want a copy or instance or a reference now this is very much self-explanatory and the third one is very interesting one that is the array dimensions so I can copy it in a in a one dimensional or two dimensional or three dimensional I will give you the examination ex uh, sorry examples uh, right away so first of all I will make one dimensional copies which I will make only five now you won't see any differences until unless you see the preview now remember though you can hit the OK button and you can see the result but the problem is that we don't know how the distribution of the copy is actually been happened so it's better to turn on the preview and see how the uh, how the object has been duplicated now if you turn on you, you can see immediately in the scene uh, details uh, you can have the f five foliages but the problem is that I haven't actually been distributed any incremental way now as my incremental is uh, has been selected not my total so uh, I have to give some incremental values which axis you want the first one is for move rotate and scale so I want my objects to be uh, distributed in the X axis let's say by 5 units so I will hit 5 into the incremental and every 5 units you can see it has been distributed now the 5 units of over here and the 5 units over here are not the same if you go to the top view you you'd have been understood that what I am talking about so now what I will do is I can manually increase until unless I'm very much satisfied that the gap between the objects two objects are absolutely fantastic okay now I'm very much uh, convinced that yes my objects are um, <coughs> equally uh, uh, distributed in such a manner that it will look like a row now if you want a little bit of uh, uh, you know uh, variation you can use the incremental rotation now you can see that how the uh, 60 uh, sorry 40 degree rotation incremental rotation actually it's actually creating some uh, variation also okay now if you want to use the scale you can use the scale also it's up to you so it's it's oops, oops sorry yeah so your selection should not be goes that you have to remember that if your selection goes the array will not gonna work so this is my one dimensional uh, array now I want to go to the two dimensional array now the plus point of the array is I'm not losing my first dimension here 
Now this is the most interesting one. Now as I'm moving to the two dimension and I will I will take this five of uh, the five row I mean five objects row and I will duplicate it in three more but in which direction that we have to go that we have to give now for that I will go for y axis now immediately you can see that has been duplicated three more times and created three more rows so this is how the two dimensional increment in actually been happening so this is really really interesting now if I go to three dimension and I'll go for let's say two immediately you can say the duplication has been done but it it is not visible because I haven't mentioned it in which axis now can I can I give it to the y axis again yes we can but that doesn't make any sense sorry I lost my selection yeah so that doesn't make any sense so what can I do is I can increment uh, let's say on the z-axis so what happened over here is I have a nice stack of uh, a foliage which uh, actually will give you a sort of uh, row and column filling so this is how we can actually create or use array in our scene for distributing then I hit OK and my my selection my uh, distributions are saved so this way we can easily uh, duplicate the objects in a very special manner in a row column sense and and uh, achieve our goal where we, we need to distribute the objects but I will give you another example where we can actually you know uh, use this uh, for a very different reason so I will just uh, select oops uh, yep. I have a wrong selection. Oh, okay. Fine, no problem. Anyway, just select them and hit delete. So right now I don't have any any objects in my scene. I will create one box. Uh, one small box. What I'm trying to do over here is I will create a spiral staircase by using uh, this particular. Uh, array now why I'm using spiral staircase is uh, in spiral staircase I can show you the distribution of objects in uh, position and rotation both way or even scale so first of all I would like to put my pivot point on the one side of of the object so what I will do is I will go to the hierarchy effect pivot only and I will drag this pivot onto one side and then turn off the effect pivot only option now as my objects are selected go to tools array now this is really really interesting just have a look I have to uh, though my objects are actually been uh, uh, got the last values that I have been uh, selected for the foliage I, I I really don't need the uh, two-dimensional or three-dimensional so first of all I, I make all the values to the default now this is something which I uh, I can use by reset all parameters or you can manually uh, set the values where which you really want uh, if you have the values in your mind that yes I know the values and I, I can work with that okay so select that and hit preview now first of all I haven't mentioned it in 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 my uh, array transformation that what kind of distribution I want this time I want a kind of a uh, total distribution so in the total distribution I hit 100 and immediately in the Z axis so what will happen is it actually distributed in the Z axis with 100 units now this is really interesting so if I take it 
take down to 80 it will uh, it will definitely take down till 80 so this is absolutely uh, up to the uh, computer that it is distributing the 10 count or the 10 objects within this particular 80 units so this is where the total comes uh, to play total array disk transformation comes to play where you have a specific area where you want to distribute your objects now let's suppose i want all of this 10 to be distributed in total 36 uh, 360 degree that means it has been totally distributed rotationally totally distributed in three dimension uh, three uh, 60 degree uh, orientation so now this is really really interesting that I can increase this size of the total uh, stair I can increase the number of stairs I want if I feel that you know what I I need more stairs you can actually create more stairs so this is something uh, really uh, interesting or else even I want to make it a little fashionable uh, let's suppose uh, oops I think I have hit control Z two times yep so I have to okay now that's that will do okay now what I will do is my y-axis scale I want to be reduced so you can see immediately your uh, the value of the x uh, y-axis has been reduced from this first step so this way you can easily create uh, a, a subtle kind of uh, uh, you know designs uh, with your own with with your own design uh, with your own uh, uh, shapes or or even uh, different uh, models that you create so this is how you can actually use array with uh, uh, in 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 both the transformation of uh, move rotate or, or all the transformation of move rotate and scale so if you and one more thing which is very important that please don't forget to hit ok this is really really interesting because if you deselect your objects it's all gone or if you haven't hit ok you just hit cross it's also all gone so you have to be very very careful about that that uh, whether you are actually oops sorry whether whether uh, you are actually been uh, you know uh, I mean hit the OK button and uh, register that particular uh, 360 let's suppose 80 let's see count yup that's it uh, no, I want like that fine great yeah so if you hit OK then you will see you don't have any problem uh, to deselect the objects uh, your array has been preserved uh, pretty well so I hope you understand the use of the array and you can create your objects in a way so that you can distribute your scenes uh, wherever it's required so hope you enjoy this tutorial thank you very much please subscribe and you our youtube channel and uh, follow us on facebook and twitter thank you very much